Hey, good morning, everyone. So, uh, back on trail this morning after a very productive day in pulling. Was able to get some laundry done. I'm about to go through a really narrow. All right. <laughs> All right, perfect. Uh, this is the trail sometimes. All right, well, uh, I'll be back. One second. All right, back to it. Uh, I'm actually walking on a boardwalk, though, so hopefully I don't fall. Um, <laughs> So yeah, uh, yesterday was very productive. So able to take care of some chores I need to do. Biggest thing, shower and laundry. I feel amazing. My shirt is so soft. Oh, it's incredible. So if, those of y'all who have uh, the privilege of not having to hike in the same clothing for a week or longer, something that you will learn is that uh, your clothes will start getting like salty from all the sweat. And uh, when that happens, it becomes really crusty and actually will really irritate your skin when you're wearing it. So it's been uh, nice to have some nice, soft, laundered clothes now. But today, we're actually only going to do maybe 10 or 12 miles. We kind of got a late start. It's already afternoon here today. Um, we had a nice breakfast uh, this morning. We had a nice dinner in town and I was able to meet back up with all of my trail family. We even had uh, one of the girls in our group rejoin us. She had to get off trail for some personal reasons around uh, mile 1100, I guess right after Pine Grove Furnace. And so she's missed about 350 some miles, but she is now back. And so we, uh, we hung around town too to meet up with her so we could welcome her back onto the trail. So I think we're going to do, yeah, about 12 miles. Uh, in about two miles, I'm going to come up to a... Uh, food truck, which I'm excited about. So I'll have some lunch there and then keep on going for about another 10 miles here today. It's definitely hot. It's not very humid at least, but definitely a hot day. All right, there it is, officially in state number 10. We got Connecticut, Vermont, New Hampshire. Actually, sorry, Connecticut, Massachusetts, Vermont, New Hampshire, and then Maine. Maine. <laughs> hey, good morning, everyone. Uh, so last night uh, I got into camp kind of early actually around six o'clock or so and uh, which was nice We really only did like 10 10 or 12 miles yesterday. So it really was not much bad of a day uh, I ended up stopping off and getting some uh, Malaysian food at a little Malaysian food truck uh, for lunch, which was nice and then uh, Yeah, ended up just kind of being a pretty cruisy day. We did enter into Connecticut, which is awesome and which is state number 10. And then now we are planning a bigger day today. We're, we're trying to do about 22 miles. I do need to drop off, stop off into Kent, Connecticut, just quickly to pick up some new shoes. I have a box there at one of the outfitters. And then I'll probably grab a quick lunch while I'm in town, get back on trail. Uh, there is a spot about 19 miles. If, if for some reason I run out of time or energy or whatever it is, uh, I'll stop there instead. But it should be a nice day. We did get an early start out today. Ooh. Oh, there's a sign. This must be the 700 miles left sign. Pretty cool. Two thirds, oh, look at this. We are two thirds of the way to Maine. Check it out. All right, so day, today has been absolutely brutal so far. We're under a heat advisory. It's extremely, extremely hot right now. Uh, we're somewhat exposed. It's a lot of elevation and very little water. So thankfully there should be a good flowing water source in about a mile. I can refill, relax a little bit. And I'm only about three miles from Kent, so I'm gonna hike into Kent and grab my package, my new shoes, and hopefully get some AC. Cannot wait for that. All right, so back on trail. 
spent like four hours in town just avoiding the heat. It was really, really rough, but got a little bit of a late start back into town at like six or seven o'clock, which I was not expecting that, but hey, it happens. Got some food, got some errands done, got new shoes, which so far they feel great. Very happy about them. And uh, yeah, I think I'm trying to go like six more miles, which means I will definitely be night hiking tonight. Uh, there's a shelter in six miles. You're not supposed to stealth camp apparently in Connecticut, so I kind of supposed I'm supposed to continue on. I can't really stop short, but uh, I really hate night hiking. But it should be a nice flat section by the time I get there. It's sort of next to a river, so it should be easy hiking at least for the last maybe hour or two before the or once the sun is down. So uh, we'll see how it is. Hey, good morning, everyone. Uh, it's about 7.30 in the morning, and I am headed out of camp. Uh, last night, did the night hiking for about two hours, maybe a little longer. And night hiking is always very interesting because you see a lot more animals that you would otherwise normally not see. Saw a few raccoons. Um, I heard a big animal, which I'm assuming potentially could have been a bear, but uh, did not actually see it. And also, there was a massive rock scramble down one of the mountains that was actually quite dangerous. I really probably should not have been doing that at night. Uh, I did see a massive spider ball there too, but uh, fortunately there was just no other option. There's no place to set up camp. So I still had to go down the rock scramble. But uh, today, it feels a lot cooler today, at least in the morning time. So hopefully it stays that way throughout the afternoon and later at day uh, or later evening. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna try, I don't even know where I'm going yet today. I haven't even really looked at the map. Uh, probably gonna try to push somewhere around 18-ish miles. Some of the folks in my group are gonna be going uh, to visit a friend in Boston. Uh, and so I think I'm going to stay back. We'd be having to push like 20 mile days to get there in time. So I think I'm gonna just chill and, and relax here in uh, Great Barrington. Maybe take a zero while I'm there. Uh, but yeah, so. Hopefully it'll be a, a nice smooth day. Uh, the morning time, there's actually really flat here. We're kind of near a river. I think it's called the Houstonic, the Houstonic River, or something like that. Uh, apparently it is non-treatable water, which means even if you have a water filter, even if you boil it, they recommend do not drink it. So uh, it's, it's, a, it's okay, it's a pretty river. But uh, I think we do follow it for quite a while, which will be nice. Not having to go up hills uh, right immediately after breakfast. All right, just got to a shelter here. Basically just trying to find a spot uh, that is in the shade. Got some water here too. We've actually had two or three trail magics already today. It's been pretty awesome. Uh, people, I guess, just know how hot it is and so they're wanting to help the hikers out. It's mostly just been uh, ice chests with uh, some Gatorade waters and stuff like that. It's been really, really helpful. Oh boy, this has been a very, very tough day with the heat advisory. And bad news though, we had our one member that just joined us again, she decided that this was just not it. She got back on, she was struggling. And so she went ahead and decided to get off here today. So she was back on trail for about three days. It's probably the worst three days that we've had on trail. So it was not a good timing for her, but uh, you know, I don't blame her. She's got some stuff going on back home, has to do and take care of. So unfortunately we have lost permanently a member of our trail family, but that's all right. We still got quite a few going strong all the way to Katahdin. Hopefully at least. Ooh, all right, back on trail. It's about 5 p.m. and it is so much cooler now. Very glad that I took some time off. It was not worth it. I was starting to fade really hard get, trying to get into that shelter. Uh, and it's just not worth it right now. I mean, people die out here. A uh, couple of months back when I was going over Dragon's Tooth, I had a bit of heat exhaustion. And it was terrible. I mean, it was difficult to keep water down even. I ended up having to go to a gas station and get off trail completely. So for me, it's not worth it. 
Not worth it to push like that. Hey, good morning, everyone. Uh, so, got a really good rest. I ended up just uh, camping by myself. My uh, other two friends, they decided to go a little bit further. They still had some gas in them, so. Uh, I wanted to go to the cafe in the morning, which is only about half a mile past this campsite. So I decided to stay back. That way I can get some food this morning. That is a thing that I'm very conscious of. My weight is still way down and it is very, very difficult for me to get enough food in me throughout the day. So I'm gonna eat some cafe at the cafe. I think it's called the Mountainside Cafe, but I've heard the food is awesome. So I could not pass that up. I think uh, the plan, I'm gonna try to go like 19-ish miles today. So another big day, it's a ton, a ton. Actually, no, I'm only gonna do 15 today. I'm gonna do 15 today and 15 tomorrow and get into Great Barrington. Uh, it is a ton of elevation today, so that's why I decided to do the less mileage. So hopefully it should be not as miserable of a day as I have been experiencing. And hopefully it will be a little bit cooler. I think that's what the temperature is saying or the weather report is saying but yeah let's uh let's get after it all right so we just got done having breakfast it was delicious uh highly recommend the mountainside cafe the ladies that were there were very very kind as well and i think though i should probably wait like 30 minutes to get back on trail i think is that a rule because uh, I'm cramping up a little bit. Uh, just need to let the food settle, but I should be coming up to a waterfall here in like half a mile. So uh, I will show y'all what that looks like here. And I'm hoping that it's nice and cold so that I can go ahead and soak my feet. You know, I think I'm gonna skip on putting my feet in the water here. Yep. All right, so I'm on top of Bear Mountain and it's actually cold up here. It's amazing. The rain really cooled things down and then it's a nice breeze. This is, oh, weather could not have gotten any better. This is gonna be the highest point in uh, all of Connecticut. All right, so officially crossed into Massachusetts. I am about half a mile away from camp. Overall, good day. I think I only did like 16 miles, so not a ton, but there's a lot of elevation. Thankfully, the rain cooled things down. Uh, I am going to eat my cold-soaked couscous for dinner, which I'm very excited about. I'm actually pretty hungry tonight. And tomorrow, I should be going into Great Barrington. I am getting eaten up by bugs right now. Uh, so yeah, foot felt good overall. I actually didn't take any pain meds either today. It's very impressive. Uh, my new shoe situation with the blue super feet, it's been working out pretty well. Very happy with it. So, all right. Well, hopefully today, today was a good day. Hopefully tomorrow will be even better. Hey, good morning, everyone. So last night was a nice quiet evening. Ended up uh, falling asleep quite early. I uh, was able to get into camp like 7.30. I was probably asleep by, by 8.30, I would think. But woke up this morning and chatted with my neighbors at the neighboring tent site. Uh, it was two women who were uh, doing a small section. They were funny. They, uh, they could only do maybe about three to five miles every day, especially in this area with all the elevation. So they were quite impressed hearing about what a through hike was and what it was that I was doing. So it was nice, uh, nice talking to folks and I always like exposing others to 
the idea of what through hikes are and that it is possible to do this whole thing at one time in one go. See that summit? That's where I'm head to next. I'm a little worried about the storms though. Looks like something's rolling through. Whew. All right, hit the summit of Mount Everett. Ooh, it's tough. All right, well, this is the water source for today. As you can see, very, very stagnant, but this is the last one for like another nine miles. All right, so today has been brutal. There's a fly right in front of my eye. Today has been brutal, and it's not even a climb. It's just I've got no energy. Just the calories, I don't know. I've got like no fat stores anymore. No more body fat to burn. I'm starting to realize that if anything's gonna take me off trail, it's gonna be this. I'm only like, gosh, eight miles in today. And I feel like I need a nap. I just need to lay down. It's a decent amount of elevation, it's heat hot. I just need to get into town, Great Barrington. I'm going to just eat and eat and eat. I'm definitely taking a zero tomorrow. I need it. I need to chill. I need to relax. I need to reset. It's tough. Um, there's definitely a lot of that. I don't know. Like, okay. I, I, I describe it as one to one. That's how we would.